Sil is well known in the mountaineering world for their technical alpine boots, and I was very impressed by the performance of their burly mountain trainers on a recent trip to Patagonia. On a subsequent journey to Peru, however, I wanted to lighten things up and opted for the more streamlined mountain trainer light mid GTX. All in all, the light offered a much nimbler feel while retaining great comfort and stability for navigating tricky terrain. But Sailwood did make some noticeable concessions in terms of protection and coverage. Below I break down my experiences with the Sailwood Mountain Trainer Light Mid GTX to see how it stacks up to the competition. See our article on the best hiking boots. Unlike many mountain-ready boots that are stiff and fairly rigid out of the box, the Sailwell Mountain Trainer Light Mid GTX was highly comfortable from day one. For reference, it felt noticeably softer and suppler than its heavier sibling, the standard Mountain Trainer Mid. Note that boot has since been updated to the two, but the outgoing model I tested is still widely available at the time of publishing. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that the Mountain Trainer Light is the most comfortable Alpine Focus boot I've worn to date which is saying a lot. I'll note that the boots did feel slightly loose and roomy when I first put them on, which I was concerned would lead to wanted movement on steep ascents and descents. But thankfully, these concerns were quickly put to rest once I hit the trail, and I was continually impressed by the levels of comfort and support. At 2 pounds 13.9 ounces for my pair of men's size 44.5 boots, they are listed at 2 pounds 7.9 oz. The saleable mountain trainer like mid certainly is no featherweight, but I consider the weight perfectly reasonable for the levels of support and stability. For reference, it's considerably lighter and sprightlier than the standard Mountain Trainer Mid GTX, 3 pounds, 1.4 oz, that I recently tested in Patagonia and even felt nimbler than the Scarpa Zodiac Tech GTX, 2 pounds, 11.7 oz, that I brought to Nepal's Everest region. Even after submerging the boots in a river and gaining some water weight while hiking in Peru, they didn't feel overly bulky or cumbersome underfoot, and the same held true on smooth trails and prolonged sections of flat ground. The only time I noticed any true heft was when the soles kicked up in sticky clay for a portion of our trip, but otherwise, I often forgot about the boots entirely. Sil is a mountaineering company first and foremost, and the Mountain Trainer Light Mid features a climbing-inspired Pomoka outsole and D. Aggressive lungs, similar to my experience with the burlier Mountain Trainer, the light model didn't feel entirely solid on wet rocks during my first few hikes on Vancouver Island, but traction improved considerably as I continued to break the boots in. By the end of our trip to Peru, the mountain trainer light had proven itself over everything from loose, steep gravel to muddy bogs and slippery rocks. It even performed well on wet and exposed grassy trail that I had slipped on during a previous trip to Peru, which made for a far more enjoyable ascent. As expected from a Gore-Tex equipped boot, the sail will mount and trainer like mid GTX kept my feet comfortable and dry during shallow river crossings, while hiking in rain, and when trudging through deep mud, clay, and manure in Peru. I also subjected the boots to rock hopping through glacier fed rivers and boggy lakes and confidently plodded through smaller streams without issue. My only complaint is that the collar is on the lower side and allowed water, snow, and debris to seep over the top on a couple occasions. In these cases, I found myself wishing for the taller elastic cuff on my Scarpa Zodiac Tech. It rides about 1.5 and higher, which did an excellent job of sealing out the elements. But in the end, I consider this a reasonable trade-off for reducing weight, and you can always add a pair of gaiters or bring a backup pair of shoes if you plan to encounter deep water crossings. Well, this is my observation with this particular model. Maybe you've experienced something different, so it would be a pleasure if you share yours in the comments section below for the rest of the viewers. Thank you for watching this video. Wish you a great day.